Sonia? You still here? I thought you knocked off. Oh, uh, I was just unwinding, I guess. What's in it? Sorry? Vodka and lemonade. You won't say anything. <laughs> Don't worry. I'd pinch them off you if I weren't on duty. Mind you, vodka tends to make me way too flirty. Maybe next time make it a gin? <laughs> so the thing's getting on top of you? I don't know. It's just the pace of everything here. It just spreads so thin. It's hard to feel like you're actually making any difference. You're doing great, trust me. I doubt that. You are. In fact, I overheard Dr. Gordon singing your praises. Really? Mm-hmm. Funny. He's given me quite a few earfuls the last few days. Oh, forget it. See, his problem is he gets the basic rule of leadership the wrong way round. He praises in private and criticises in public. Good point. thing to remember with him is he needs to feel like he's the boss. But deep down, he knows how much we all put in. I studied under someone like that when I was a junior. I remember feeling like I was in the army. I was petrified of him. I was even more petrified of screwing up. But then I realised he wasn't trying to intimidate me. He was just trying to instil the same passion in me. There you go. Though, I'd like to point out that Dr Gordon has about as much passion as a lump of coal. I don't know. He's probably just has to wear the stone face for work. I wouldn't be surprised if he's a completely different person off the clock. I take it nobody's told you what happened at the Christmas party last year? No. Well, let's just say that yours truly overdid it on the vodka and found out firsthand. No kidding. <laughs> Night. Night.